Hi and welcome. My name is Ricky and in this video I want to talk about MailChimp automations. So if you've never created any automation before, when you click on automation, you will end up on this page. If you have some automations in your automations page, all your automations will be listed here and you can click on add automation and that will take you to this page. So automations are a way for you to do things automatically. Send some email automatically. For example, somebody subscribes, you want to send them a thank you. And then after that, maybe a day later, you send them something. Or maybe you want to send, you want to make sure that every birthday for your subscriber, you send a certain email. Or maybe you want to send holiday greetings. Maybe it's Christmas, you want to send something on the 24th maybe it's the new year, you want to send something on the 31st, you can write this in advance and then on those specific dates they'll be sent out. In that case you can use something like a date-based automation. So the one that I want us to create is uh, based on a list activity. So a list activity is whereby maybe somebody subscribes or it can even be unsubscribe, anything that happens in a list. But the one I'm going to do an example for is best of a subscription if somebody subscribes send them a first email then an email x days later then another one x days later so that's the one that i'm going to do as an example but there are a whole lot of ways to trigger your automations for example we have e-commerce best we have e-commerce best so if you run something like shopify if you run your your online store on shopify or you run woocommerce or you run magento or oh, I think also big commerce, big commerce here, you can integrate MailChimp into them so that you can create automations based off of this. So maybe somebody abandons a cart, you can send them an email and tell them, hey, go and buy what you just left. Maybe somebody buys something for the first time, you can send them, hey man, thank you so much. And I believe in you so much. I want to give you even this for free. So it depends on what you want. Uh, we also see something here like uh, music. Let's see what we have here. Maybe you have a list of dates of events. You can use automations to remind people, hey, tomorrow we'll be here. Then they can show up. So there are different ways. There are different triggers. So these are ways they can be triggered. There are different ways. These are just groupings because you'll realize that most of this actually, uh, these are just names that they've used to group them. But you realize that you can actually use any of them as long as you know how to change the trigger. The trigger is the mechanism that will be used to tell the system that, hey, send an email now. One example of a trigger is subscription. If somebody subscribes, send them an email. So that's the introduction bit of this. Now, in MailChimp, one of the most important things in MailChimp is always templates. Everything in MailChimp revolves around templates. If you want to send a newsletter, a campaign to your followers, you are going to need to have some kind of a template. So with that in mind, I have created, I've already created six templates that I'm going to use for the automation demos. I have six templates here, very simple templates. And these are the ones I will use because when it comes to automation, when it comes to automation, I will need to add an email and the email in this case in MailChimp is the template. So if you don't know how to create templates in MailChimp, in my MailChimp course, you can just go back and watch the section on how to create templates. We did different ways of creating templates. You can go to this link and join the MailChimp course and watch it from there. So it's very important for you to have templates. I already have templates and this will make my work very easy. As long as I have the templates, everything else becomes very easy to, to do. So let's go and get started right away. And the automation that I want to create, this is an automation that is activated when somebody subscribes. So I want to go down to list activity. So if I come down here to list activity, you can see I already have, I already have at least one here, which says educate subscribers. This is the one that I used. And I could also have used this one, but since I know how I want to trigger my automations, then I can easily use this one. And I'm also going to use this. So just a slowdown. 
I want to create an automation for this so that when somebody subscribes, they will receive this. Then two days later, they'll receive this. Six days later, they'll receive this. And then 12 days later, they'll receive this. And then uh, this one will be received 18 days later and this one 30 days later. So that's what I want to create right here. And to get started, let me just choose this one and I will say add automation and let me give it a name and for this one let me call it cash buyers and the list that I, then you select the list if you don't have list go and create lists let me select this list of cash buyers then go next so we are here and you can see these are these are some of the the default emails so these are the default emails that you get. So what I want to do is to edit them. So this first one, trigger one day after subscription. No, I want it to be sent immediately. So I will trigger, I will change. You can see here, this is based off of sign up. If I go here, I can change how this is triggered, but I don't want to go into that because I don't want this video to be extremely long and I do anticipate that it will be long. So I just use it the way it is. And uh, let me say, wait zero days maybe i can wait uh yeah let me just say immediately if i say immediately it will be sent out immediately as soon as they subscribe and uh, settings you can trigger when subscribers are imported yeah if you import new subscribers why not then i will update the trigger so you can also schedule the times do you want certain days when it is not being sent out then you just click here and edit those then segment none if you want to create some kind of segmentation in your list automatic segmentation in your list you can check out this but i'm not going to do this i want this to be just that plain you subscribe you receive the email so this is a fast email that will be sent out when somebody subscribes so it will be sent out immediately the way we have said in our trigger if you want to change the trigger just go here and edit trigger and you can change the number of days that it takes. So this is the first email. So the next step, I just click on design email because I want to create the email itself. Then fill in all of this, name of your email, the email subject, this is what they will see when they receive the email, and then your from name, and then make sure you also add your from email address. This is where people can reply back to when they receive this email from you so this will enable them to be able to reply back to you and once you've filled in everything you just click on next and then the next step is for you to select a template and since since i already have a template which i think you should do as well make sure you create the templates in advance this is very easy i'll just come to saved templates and then here in saved templates I'll just choose the template that I want to use and uh, ways number one. Yes, this is the one I want to use and I will select this one. And then if you have anything to edit in your template, you can edit it. If you want to add or remove anything, go ahead and remove that. I don't want to add or remove anything. So I'll just click on save and continue. Just like that, my first email has been set up. So. How about the other emails because I need to send six of them the entire month. So if you look at MailChimp has already added for us at least some samples down here. So each of this, I can just edit them one by one. This is the one that uh, I've just edited, added my email. And so I'll come down to the next one. So this is this will be my second email. And my second email, I need to edit the trigger. This should be sent two days after subscription two days after subscription so i will change that to two days and then update trigger and then of course the next step is for me to create the email so i will click design email and we know and i know this is my second email so for this one i will use the second template and of course first of all you need to add all these details and then after that you'll click next to take you to the next step 
I will choose a template and uh, since I already have template save, this is very easy for me. I just come and choose the template that I already created, which is number two here. Then I will select that template. And since I have nothing to edit, I will just save and continue to go on to the next step. Two of my emails have been set up. So you can see this one is triggered immediately. This one is triggered after two days. And now on to the next one, which needs to get triggered six days after subscription. I'll just edit there. And this one needs to be triggered six days after subscription, then update trigger. Then the next step, I design the email. And uh, as usual, just add all these details and then you click next. And then as usual, I'll choose my template which in this case, I am down to number three. I don't need to change anything. I will just save and continue. So now if I scroll, I already have three emails in my automation. I still have to add three more. So I'll click on add email to add a fourth one. And uh, I will click on edit trigger. This one will be sent after 12 days from the date of the subscription. So I will update that. So you've seen me design emails and you know how to do it. And if you still need to add more emails, you'll just need to add email to add another one. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to pause the recording for the next three and I will see you when I'm done with all of them. Hi again and welcome back. So um, I'm done with all the six emails and so now I can just continue with the next step. But before that, I want to show you that you can, you can do a scheduling. So maybe you want them to be sent at a particular time every single day. You can do that if you want specific days so that it doesn't get sent, just uncheck those days right here. And if you want it to be sent at a specific time or you want it to be sent between a certain period, maybe from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., you can do that here. If you want to send out, you can just choose the time that you want to send out. If you want to send between, you can send between this time and this time. So I'll just use this one. As soon as conditions are met, just send it out. And once you make any changes, make sure you save. So I didn't make any change. So I'll just cancel this one. So you can also test, send a test. Okay. So you can test all emails and let me just test this ones to this email address and send the tests. And the good thing about testing is that it will tell you if there's something wrong with any of the emails, maybe one of the from emails has not been confirmed or you're using an email like Gmail or Yahoo, you might get some alerts. So this is good. It will help you to understand. So I'm just going to check into my phone and see if these emails have arrived. So after checking them on my phone, I noticed that there is some error in one of these emails. So I can just go back to design email and I want to remove something down here. So I'll just click there. And then remove it. And then save. Then save and continue. So that's pretty much it. Actually, that's it for this. So I can just come down here and click next to continue. And if I look at this, you can see that everything, everything seems to be in order. If anything is not in order, you're going to get one of these red X's. But since everything is green, that means I am ready. I am ready to set this automation into play. So I'll just click down here to say start workflow. And then I will click yes, start the workflow. 
and then we can see <laughs> we can see mailchimp is telling us rock on rock on rock on your automation is in play so if somebody subscribes they will get the first one and then they will get the next one and the next one until the final one so you can see in automation automation the example I've, uh, I've done is a very simple one but there are even more complex things that you can do let's say for example you want to send something to people who visit a certain page on your site you can do the same for them if you want to send a certain email to someone who clicks a specific link on your on your email you can create such kind of an automation so there's so much more that you can do and i haven't spoken about them just go and uh, try them out every link does something in those triggers every link does something so you can explore them and see what other amazing things you can do because there's so much more that is very possible with automation so i didn't want this video to be very long that's why i tried my best to make it <laughs> To go as fast as i can while cramping as much information as i could now if you have any questions feel free to let me know i'll see you next time